So far, we've learned that Critter Junction has decided to go with Cloud Run for their layout app. Will they learn to optimize Cloud Run for scalability? Stay tuned. To refresh, the layout app is a key part of the game. You can share house layouts with other players. And since containerizing their Node.js application, they've decided to run it on Cloud Run for its portability, statelessness, and auto-scaling, even to zero. And unlike their online site running on App Engine, they haven't needed to write warm-up wrappers in their code because Cloud Run may keep some idle instances around to handle spikes in traffic. The thing is, Cloud Run will terminate unused Cloud Run containers after some time, which means a cold start can still occur. After looking at recent deployments of the Layout app, we noticed a few things that could be improved to minimize cold start latency. First, they happen to be using a dynamic language with dependent libraries, like importing modules in Node.js. They weren't using global variables, and their container-based images were about 700 megabytes in size. This meant that overall, they were facing longer load times upon container startup or required additional computation before the server could start listening for requests. Instead, they want to optimize their service startup speed to minimize the latency that causes these. Let's dive into each. For starters, on Cloud Run, the size of your container image does not affect cold start or request processing time but you want to be careful when it comes to applications written in dynamic languages. For example, if you're using Node.js or Python, module loading that happens on process startup will add latency during a cold start. Also be aware of some modules that run initialization code upon importing. To build a leaner service, you can minimize the number and size of dependencies if you're using a dynamic language. Instead of computing things upon startup, Compute them lazily. Shorten your initializations and speed up time to start your HTTP server. And use code loading optimizations like PHP's Composer Autoloader optimization. Next up, global variables. In Cloud Run, you can't assume that service state is preserved between requests. But Cloud Run does reuse individual container instances to serve ongoing traffic. That means you can declare a global variable so when new containers are spun up, it can reuse its value. You can also cache objects in memory. Moving this from the storage request logic to global scope means better performance. A lot of this boils down to creating a leaner service. You want to build a minimal container by working off of a lean base image like Alpine, DistroList, or Scratch. These images reduced Critter Junction's image size from 700 megabytes to 65 megabytes. They also made sure to only install what was strictly needed inside the image. In other words, don't install extra packages that you don't need. Once Critter Junction was able to remove dependencies, use global variables, swap to a leaner base image, and remove extra packages, they were able to reduce the latency of any cloud run cold starts. Now, there are other best practices for Cloud Run scalability and performance, so be sure to check out the link below. Stay tuned and remember, always be architecting.